The government has directed school heads across the country to share their institution's bank details by February 6th as it plans to ensure parents pay school fees through the e-citizen platform as opposed to paying the fees directly to school accounts. Now, in a circular sent on Wednesday this week, school heads have until Tuesday next week to share the bank details with the Ministry of Education. Marianne Yambura reports. Parents of students in public schools will be mandated to pay school fees for their children through the government online platform eCitizen. A memo to all national school principals dated 31st January 2024 and signed by Basic Education Principal Secretary Belio Kipsang directed institution heads to share school bank account details with the Office of the Director General State Department of Basic Education by Tuesday 6th February 2024. This, the PS says, is part of the government's efforts to onboard all government services onto the e-citizen platform to enhance service delivery. The payment of school fees through the platform is part of a plan to make it the latest addition to the pool of over 5,000 government services offered on the e-citizen portal that was revamped and launched by President William Ruto in 2023. To seal all loopholes, the Ministry of Education has further directed school heads to quit charging extra levies to parents outside authorized fees. In a circular sent on February 2nd, Basic Education PS Belio Kipsang says that the ministry caters for tuition requirements through capitation for primary and junior secondary schools. Hence, no extra fees should be charged. PS Kipsang directed that action will be taken on school principals, board of management and head teachers who charge unauthorized levies. Kipsang has directed that no child should be denied schooling for failing to pay for the school lunch program which is optional for pupils. Miriam Nyambura, Citizen TV.